Episode 258 has finally arrived. Time to get self-indulgent. I bring up my media player, as you well know. I've got a backlog. And I'm going to go to the past. To the daughter of Mick Ronson. Lisa Ronson. Who has one album from 2019. And uh, she's not quite like her father. She does have one foot in rock and roll, firmly in rock and roll, but she's got another, another foot firmly in electronica, sort of combined together. And uh, to prove that point, I'll share a little bit of a song that cannot be played on the commercial airwaves. There we go. With the sure sound. Now we can hear it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Okay, there was the magic word. What kind of store was she at? Store? Well, shop, you know, she's shopping and, you know, I yeah, don't know. Well, I don't know, man. It's kind of curious. I don't you know? know, but I mean, it is curious also that the sound of this is very similar to a, another recording by a porn star, Tracy Lords, way back really? in the 80s. And now I'm, I think it was called Fire. And it had a similar sound. Right, cool. this mixture of rock and electronics together, like a dance sound, and, and they're not really singing, it's more like breathy vocals. Quite similar. All right. All right, so thank you, Lisa. Go back to the past, into the 70s, we got someone you might know, Roger Glover, of Deep Purple fame, did a rock opera, much to my surprise, it just came up in the in the algorithm, the butterfly ball, and the grasshopper feast, I think it is. And uh, so this has got a lot of guest singers, and they're listed right there under contributing artist. Right, you got Glenn Hughes singing on a cut. You got uh, David Coverdale, right? Ronnie James Dio. There's some other names that may not be as well known. John Gustafson. And there's some striking female vocals on here too as well. There's Lisa Strike and Judy Cool. But I don't know who those people are, but they sing really well. I mean, the whole thing is just well produced as any Deep Purple album. And uh, I'm going to play that. I'll play the song that Jim picks. Hey, Joe. So I get to pick one. Let, let's see. How about Harlequin Hair? Interesting choice. This is one of the ones I shared on Fine Music, the Fine Music group on Facebook. Earlier we had the White Horse, and I think we the White Rabbit. Here we go. Harlequin Hair. I'm Harlequin Hair. I haven't a care. I'm going to the ball. No, that's even more like Jethro Tull's Passion Play, The Hair Who Lost His Spectacles. <laughs> it's got that Barnaby, Barnum, whatever thing going on, a circus feel. But the whole album isn't like that. Is it? There's some other more straightforward songs, and it's just the whole thing's well produced. And apparently it was a film, because it, it just like uh, The Hair Who Lost His Spectacles, it's people in animal costumes. 
acting out these songs. But I've never heard of this. This came up in the algorithm, and it was uh, a good listen. I really like some of the vocals were very evocative. So I'll share one more artist from the 70s. This is a French artist named Kravitz, who was in a group. I'll have to look it up later. But uh, he's got that early 70s sound down pat. Sounds a lot like Deep Purple. Uh, and the songs are really the prog rock length. The group he was in, they had normal length songs. But when he's on his own here like this, they were prog rock. This came out in 72, so I'll play that first song. Give you a taste. Hello. <laughs> like a cross between 10 years after and concrete blonde interesting juxtaposition that's an unlikely crossover it is yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah so there's all kinds of stuff nobody knows about they're from other countries oh. uh, they can be found on youtube and this is definitely an example of that love this album it's a really good album so i'll stop to share thank everybody for their time we finished three minutes ahead of schedule not bad and that hey, was, before we go, I noticed your T-shirt, Spencer. Is this you part of the, the episode? Simpsons shirt on? Wait, 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 wait. Yep, wait, my girlfriend gave that to me. Because I was going to conclude the episode. Oh, I thought you were done. Not oh, done. sorry. <laughs> All right. So, right. Oh, yeah, the, the shirt my girlfriend gave that to me for my birthday 